What's going on jumpers? Welcome to another episode of KG Coaches where I offer my coaching tips on other people's jump rope skills. Today we have a leg hook or a Marley skill from Liz. So let's jump into it and take a look at what we've got. Now to begin, let's talk about some of the things that are going really well. We have a nice solid double under and we're seeing that Liz's torso is staying very upright even as she's turning all the way around in the 360 and doing the leg placement. Now there are actually four different variations of each Marley slash leg over skill. So what Liz is doing right now is a right arm under right leg from the outside side hand placement. Now typically when we do a standard Marley, we, we cross with the arm that goes with the rotation. So in this case, that would be a left arm underneath the right leg from the inside. So there's a lot to visualize here, but we can break it down by one arm at a time. So we take just our right arm. Our right arm can cross underneath the right leg from the outside, just like Liz is doing. It can go underneath the right leg from the inside. We can do right arm underneath our left leg from the inside and also right arm under left leg from the outside. So there's four total variations. The most conventional of these, uh, in this case with the, with the rotation that Liz is doing, is actually left arm underneath right leg from the inside, which again, left and right arm do the exact same thing. It uh, just depends on which way you're turning. Now, understanding that we have these four different variations we can do, in this case, the easiest one that we could do would be a left arm going underneath the right leg from the inside. So there's really nothing actually technically incorrect about this skill. It's just a different variation and knowing what Liz was going for. She was looking for a single under Marley or a single under leg hook. And typically the Marley skill refers to, again, that standard position where the arm that goes underneath the leg from the inside is actually following the same direction that you are turning with your body. There's a couple other small things that'll make a really big difference. So right now we're seeing that Liz is doing a double under first and then is almost doing a double under swing into that Marley position. So instead of doing a double under, if we actually use this time as just a single under Marley, and we use that swing as an opportunity to rotate, it'll be a little bit cleaner, which will be really nice. We can also take our time in that double under and land with our feet slightly crooked or slightly off to the side so we can actually prep to get into the turning skill a little bit easier. Other than that, everything's looking really good. The other tiny suggestion uh, I would give is that when Liz is doing this placement and moving forward, doing it with her left arm going underneath her right leg from the inside, bringing her knee up higher and really focusing on raising her knee rather than letting her chest drop. It's not excessive by any means in this video here, but it will really help a lot to bring that knee up as high as possible during this skill. All right, guys, if you found this helpful at all, please send it off to a friend that you think could also enjoy or use these tips. If you have any questions at all, leave a comment down below or hit me up on Instagram at Nate underscore KG. All right, I will see you in the next episode of KG Coaches.